What up boys and welcome back to another video. So in this series I'm basically going through every zone in the game eventually and looking at all the different gold farms that you can do in the specific zone. So I've already done a handful of zones which you can all find in the playlist uh, which is going to be linked here somewhere. And in today's video we have actually moved from... Uh, Eastern Kingdoms to Kalimdor, even though I'm not even close to finishing off Eastern Kingdoms. I just wanted to mix it a bit up. So in today's video, we're looking at the potential farms that you can do in Uldum. Now, Uldum is uh, not my favorite zone, but one of the favorite zones for gold farms. Because uh, some of my uh, most enjoyable gold farms are in this zone. Now, this video is sponsored by myself. And the Zero to 10 Million Gold Guide, a book that I made well above a year ago and has continued to improve since. It contains all of the gold farms that I'm personally doing that I've used to achieve multiple gold caps. And it's a book that's under constant updates. So if you guys buy the book now, you will receive any future updates to the book at all of the future expansions that were to come out for free. So make sure you check it out so using code SHADOWLANDS, you will also get it for 50% off. It's of course going to be linked down below in description and pinned comments. So first of all, when it comes to Uldum, uh, we want to talk about gathering because this zone has it all when it comes to gathering, right? Like if you do mining, it's the easiest route ever to do. You literally just follow the edge of the map like you do in most zones. Uh, but like this, just follow the edge of the map and then you just cut straight to the route is very easy and you're mining in order to get the uh, the purite ore and elementium ore. There's not that much more to be said about that. Just know that mining in the zone is very good. Now, not only is mining very good, but one of the uh, materials needed for Vial of Sand and so on is Shira's Veil and all of that. But Whiptail, the best spot to get Whiptail is in Uldum. And it's also one of the easiest routes in the game. You just need to pick up Cataclysm, uh, Herbalism, and follow this river, like, up and down, as easy as it gets. And you can Herb for Whiptail, and you're also going to get Volatile Life while doing Herbalism. So, it, for a gathering, it's really good. But it doesn't stop there. I made like a thousand videos on a baby croc skinning. If you haven't seen it, I'm going to link it down below in the description. But pretty much right down here by Lost City of the uh, Tolvir, there's um, like a small area at Sirius the Black where you can skin these baby crocodiles, which will give you savage leather that you can turn further into a heavy savage leather. And then you can take the savage heavy savage leather and turn it into pristine height. Not only that, but if you do the farm while having this on you, the Poach of Treasure Finding, you will also get like all of the volatiles and cloth and raw gold. It's also going to give you pure right ore and elementium ore. It's just one of my best uh, or favorite gold farms of all times because of all the mats that you get out of that one farm. So that is it for gathering. And uh, besides from gathering, there's another material farm that you have to mention when you mention this zone. And that is by running the dungeon, the Vortex Pinnacle. Now, all of the OGs knows about this farm. I still have to talk about it though, since it's literally uh, a zone video farm and the dungeon is in this zone. But by killing every single mob in the Vortex Pinnacle up to the first boss you will get a ton of volatile air. It's the best solo farm for the material. The material tends to be more gold than both volatile fire and water, just because it's way harder to farm. Like, people do volatile fire and volatile water in groups, and they get like a thousand plus an hour. That's impossible with volatile air. So that is also an option to farm. Now, the last one is, uh, well, you guys can tell by my bags, that would be pickpocketing mobs to get the uh, the toy, the gnomish dice. So this area that I'm in right now with these bad boys is uh, the best location to get it at. It is a toy that is uh, only achievable by uh, doing um, like pickpocket. And it's this one. The price of my realm right now, keep that in mind, is really bad. 
But this one loaded Gnomish dice. I've sold five of them recently with an average pri price of almost 23,000 gold. This bad boy, you gotta be a rogue in order to get it. And you can do that on the trial tune even. And you just gotta pickpocket the mobs uh, at my current location. I'm gonna show you and fly up with my flying mount. Give you guys a better view of the zone. And I would recommend you to have the potion of treasure finding on since you should kill the mobs after you pickpocket them. That way they will spawn faster. But yeah, you can see there's a ton of these uh, big packs of mobs right here. And if you want to do a constant farm on this one, like after pickpocketing and killing these packs, you can just continue up the mountain for even more mobs. You're not going to be in these big density packs though. However, they don't spawn fast enough for you to just farm the stairs with the big packs. So uh, going further up and pickpocketing all of these guys as well. It's a nice way to constantly have mobs to pickpocket. So that was the Obelisk of the Moon and the Temple of Uldum, just pickpocketing on the rogue. So a quick recap, you can easily do Purite and Elementium mining if you just follow the edge of the map. And once you follow the mountains right here, just cut straight over. Then you can do Herbalism in the river for Whiptail and Volatile Life. And you can do Skinning at the Baby Crocs all the way down here. You could run the Vortex Pinnacle, just grind the mobs up until the first boss. Don't kill the boss, but then just jump down and um, do it 10 times in an hour for Volatile Air. And then last but not least, pickpocketing the mobs up here for the Gnomish Dice. And that is it. If you guys think that I miss any farm in Old Doom, just let me know down below in the comment section. Uh, and that is pretty much it for today's video. So super excited to keep on delivering videos for uh, the Gold Farming by Sewn series. And don't forget to check out the Zero to 10 Million Gold Guide. And if you want to watch all of my videos before anyone else, you can also look into joining the VIP supporter, which gives you access to a special Discord where I share all of my videos before anyone else sees them. And you can also join my Gold Farming group farms. Uh, but yeah, those are linked down below. Thanks for watching. And I will see you all back in on tomorrow's video. Until then, bye bye.